I know many Americans have questions tonight. How did we reach this point in our economy? And what does this mean for your financial future? These are good questions, and they deserve clear answers. You know, sometimes you just don't see it coming. How did we go from some of the best times in the history of our great union to this? The highest unemployment rate since the Great Depression. Tens of thousands of factories closed in the United States and Canada. Millions of hardworking folks losing their homes. I'll tell you how. A bunch of billionaire suits who think a day's work is moving money from one pocket to another created one hell of a mess. The fraud, the manipulation, the greed, they got away with it. Yet, we're still paying the price. They created a crisis that shook souls and destroyed dreams, threatened to take out entire countries. It almost took us out. Almost. Let's get something straight. This isn't a party. What we have is a movement. Always has been, always will be. We're not just fighters, we're survivors. For 120 years, We've had to fight for every single thing we've got. Nobody ever gave us a damn thing. 40-hour work weeks, overtime pay, health care, safety, pensions, the right to collectively bargain, even our lunch breaks. All these things were fought for by those who came before us. Some had to hide, some bled, and some even died but they all had something in common. They stood and fought together for each other, for us. Because they knew, if not them, then who? We know how to fight. It's in our blood. It's who we are. And this union, we don't just fight, we lead. In the United States, in Canada, in Mexico, Europe, Africa, and all around the world. Because if not us, then who? We do real work, hard work. Making real things doing real things. We're strong, we're smart. We're men and women of steel. Part of being a fighter, a winner, is taking blows, getting up and fighting back. There's something deep inside each and every one of us. A desire, a dream, a vision. The fighting spirit. We're standing up against attacks that are stronger, more sustained, more spread out than ever before. Parce que si c'est pas nous autres, alors ce sera qui? We're fighting greedy CEOs, corporations that put profits over people, and the politicians they bought and paid for. And they want nothing more than to knock us out. But do we just lie there, give up, let them take what we've spent generations building? No. No. Hell no. Victories are never guaranteed. But one thing's for sure. If we don't get in the fights, stay in the fights, we most certainly will lose. And we're no losers. We're sisters. We're brothers. We're family. We are the United Steelworkers. We stand up and we fight back.